Hi, I'm Marion Landry, the Technical Marketing Specialist for 3ds Max Design. In this video, you'll find out about a workaround to properly render your animated camera created using Dynamite VSP. We have discovered a small glitch when using the mental ray project point from position along camera path setting when used in combination with a camera that is animated along parent shape while using the Dynamite VSP object placement style editor. The idea behind the setting project points from position along camera path is that to handle camera movement, final gather points are shot from several locations along the camera path to cover the complete distance of the camera animation. Final gather becomes lock on the geometry and removing the sliding and flickering effect that could be produced without using this setting. Having that said, when using Dynamite VSP, your camera is normally created using a parent shape and animated at a certain speed along the corridor. Now, when it is time to render your animation to avoid flickering in your final gather solution, you want to use the project point from position along camera path setting in Mental Ray. This is where the glitch occurs. For a reason or another, the results are not what you were expecting, as you can see. What you are expecting to see is your final gather pass dividing the camera path in a number of predetermined segments that you have set. Something more like this. You see here that my final gather pass is shooting points along my camera path in nine different segments. So to achieve this result, the work around the glitch is the following. Make sure that your animation cursor is at frame zero. Then, Set your viewports to view the Dynamite VSP camera that you want to replace. Do not delete the Dynamite VSP camera since we'll be using it to link the new camera. In this camera view, switch your view to perspective. This view should stay the same, but this will allow you to create a new camera from this view, recreating the exact angle of the DVSP camera. So go to the top menu and create a new camera from this view. With this new camera selected, go to the control panel, modify tab, adjust the millimeter lens of the new camera to match the DVSP camera one. And make sure it is a free camera. By default, it will create a target camera. Still with the new camera selected, go to the animation menu, constraint, and link both camera together. You can use the select by name window to make it easier. Notice that a keyframe is added to the new camera at frame zero. You will know if the link is successful when moving the animation cursor. If both cameras are moving at the same time, they are linked. You can also verify that both camera offer the exact same view by switching from one camera to the other. When rendering the final animation, use the new camera view to make sure that the final gather calculation is accurate. So the idea here is that this glitch does not occur when using a camera directly created in 3ds Max Design. So we are using the DVSP camera as a parent to avoid having to recreate the animation, which would be hard and time consuming. Now keep in mind that this workaround would only make sense if you are using a DVSP camera. You would not have to do this if you are using a native camera created in 3ds Max Design. So I'm hoping that this little workaround will help you create animation that don't have any flickering and that give you a nice and smooth final gather solution. 